reach to the handlebars is so important is just because of the static nature of cycling for the upper body. So it's one of the few sports where there's such a difference between upper and lower body. The majority of the time you're in the same position, bent over essentially, for massive, massive periods and very static. So if you get that reach wrong over that amount of time, it can add up to discomfort and at worst pain and injuries. Most people, the kind of default position is on the brake levers. Obviously that's where the gear changes do. That needs to be within people's comfort zone. If that's too far away, they're generally overreach. Most people will bend forward. People will have a small bend in their mid back and then they'll take up the slack with their shoulders. Okay, so if the reach is too far away, the shoulders bow round. They're always using their pecs slightly to hold themselves out, very straight armed. And it means that the connecting muscles, the rhomboids in the shoulder blades, are always being stretched and not being used. So over a period of time, they get weak, get very tight, and people end up like this. If you're too far away and you're overreaching, there's a lack of stability and strength. If you're going to do something dexterous, for example, when you chop an onion at home, you do it close in where you've got the most control and strength. You don't do it way out. And it's the same on your bike. You want to have control and strength so you can handle the bike, change gear, adapt, make small changes, descending. This needs always to be closer in your comfort zone. If you set an, uh, a natural seat position, so we're talking about having the front of the knee over the pedal axle, okay, so that standing position. Most people, a good balance between aerodynamics and comfort. So if you're average kind of, kind of sportive rider, like you say, it's that 45 degree angle. Some people who might be able to move forward more are guys who have more natural flexibility in the chain, which is, is the hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. So part of that is work, so flexibility, stretching, and part of it is just a natural um, ability, really. Some people are naturally more flexible than others. Occupation has a big factor as well, so people who spend a lot of time in that seated position are more likely to be quite stiff in the hamstrings and also quite stiff in the hip flexors. So we're talking about a back angle of about 40 to 50 degrees on the top of the levers is a good compromise between comfort and aerodynamics. Like I say, Cybeam X Pro and being able to kind of handle those lower tolerances from the years of riding a bike. He's at the lower end at 39.3 for his back angle. So what we're looking at with Cy is keeping that upper arm angle but less than 80 degrees. So it stops that rotation of the shoulder blade. So about the 90 degrees. So like I say, Cy is on the edge of that limit. But like I said, he's coming from an ex-pro background, he's got that extreme position, but with Cy it's sustainable. So. So we were at 39 degrees before. Uh, we were looking to 40 to 50 is quite a good balance between comfort position. Size so getting a little old now and winding it down. So actually he does need a bit more comfort going into his older age. So actually going up from 39 degrees to more 43 actually suits the relaxed position that now suits his relaxed style of riding. At 80 degrees, we've now brought him to a far more comfortable 76. Okay, so we're taking a little bit of stress off his shoulder blades by bringing that arm back a little bit. And also visually you can see that the shoulder blades now, the arms have gone back a little bit. So we've taken a bit of slack off the lower back by coming up a touch and a bit of slack by bringing the shoulders back. But that was quite an extreme change, two centimetres off the stem and one and a half centimetres up. Overall size probably got slightly less aerodynamic position, but for his style of riding now, it's a more comfortable um, position. Getting your bike well set up to your body can make the difference between riding in comfort and riding in pain. And for those of us chasing performance, it can be the cornerstone to reaching your full potential.